Well, ladies, welcome back to Westby Year. Um, I was going to get some chisel plowing done today. We'll see if I can get through it. Depends on how wet it is with the snow that's coming down. I was not expecting this. I thought I had a good half a month yet to wait, but here we are with some snow. We're going to set up uh, Jimmy on this field here real quick, aka horseplay, and get him going. So that way we can go get some uh, cows fed and finish uh, bringing some of them back from the pasture, which I didn't get done yet. That's right, I forgot to tell you guys. I got a nice John Deere 524 unloader. That's my latest pickup. We'll see how long it stays in uh, in the farm, but I thought I needed something a little bit different for loading my silage bunk that I got there. Should work out pretty nice. And I need to actually finalize talking to my neighbor to get my soybeans out. It's going to be a little interesting to see how much this snow accumulates to today. And when he's actually going to be over. I know he's got quite a bit of his own ground to do also. Hopefully he can get over here sooner than later. Because I got that one field there I got to get done. And then I'm going on the hunt for combines. Because I can't be waiting around for somebody else. Uh, when we got weather like this coming through. I was nowhere near close. Well, I guess I'm just going to back in. Like I should have done in the beginning. I can't even back up. Alright, so I got to finish pulling these guys back to the farm. They're getting close to the age that we could get them going here and bread. 
I want to get them back there and keep an eye on them. Looks like he's doing alright there. I mean, we'll see if he can pull those hills as it keeps snowing. It's not necessarily a wet snow. Even though I know it could turn wet at any point here. Probably more towards midday. I just don't think we're going to get a whole lot. But the ground temperature isn't cold enough to even get it to stick yet, so that's the other issue. I actually have a lot of work to get done before we get too much snow, but I guess I could always, as long as I get all the liquid manure spread, I could always do the solid manure when the snow's on the ground. I'll we'll just put it on the field anyways. My back and seals are not here today. Wow. Anybody else have days like that? Alright. Now we got those in there. I gotta find a good place to park this trailer. I think I'm gonna park it right where I parked the Round bale trailer. Without hitting the building. I had power mirrors on this truck. Oh, by God, I made it. They starting to shape up for me. Now I'm also going to move my round bale trailer here quick. gonna mess it all up today. That's what we're doing. I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah whip it back around put it in the hay shed for now it'll be out of the way for a little bit and we already know I gotta go after some straw bales oh more importantly I'm gonna be bedding on some corn stalk bales at an auction but I also, the same neighbor that is going to be doing my beans said he'd be willing to sell some corn stalk bales. He just doesn't have any way of bailing them. So, of course, that means I have to go over, bail them, pick them up, bring them back home. So maybe we'll see what prices go at auction for and get something worked out with that. Well, let's go get the 4440 fired up.
Oh, come on. I guess the day's not going to shape up, is it? It's not a very good start to winter. I can tell you guys that much. The big thing I gotta get done is I gotta use up all these tanks. So I don't have to worry about them anymore. Bottom, found the poly tanks, said poly tanks is a good idea. Then realized I don't have any way of pumping it into the poly tanks, so I'm gonna use what's on the ground first and then strictly stay with poly tanks because the delivery semi pumps it in the tanks and then I don't have to worry about it. This, these silos take a little bit, but it's worth it. Right now I'm not doing a whole lot. All I got is hay, silage, molasses, some water, and um, some high moisture corn there. That's all I'm feeding right now. I figured going into winter that's a pretty good mixture. trying to conserve my hay so with conserving hay that means I got to use up a lot of my silage but this year I got plenty hopefully next year I can manage to make more bales and be feeding quite a bit more hay with it also Grab some molasses from these tanks quick. And then I'm going to grab some water from these tanks out here. Just to dampen up the mixture a little bit.
Bingo. Alright. Leave her parked inside. Good spot for it. Keep it plugged in through these cold days. So, we're sitting pretty good on everything here. Got a pretty decent amount of milk coming through. So we should be making some money here. John Deere 524 bucket sitting there along with the tank. And then, I guess guys, I'm going to do some more work, moving some things around off camera here. I'll be bringing you back, hopefully in time for soybean harvest. Till next time, thank you.